Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura, and guess what I got in the mail? Yup, another box from Book Outlet. This one was the graphic novel sale, so they had a 50-50, and of course, I had to buy some things. So I'm going to open this. I already pre-cut it open, so I'm going to pull out and share what I got. So, yeah. <laughs> I really like reading graphic novels because they are quick to read. Um, a basic graphic novel could take me two to three hours, and then I finish a book. The ones that are bind-ups, they do take longer to read. And also the mangas take a little bit longer. But, so, let's see what I got in here. So, first the thing I see is my receipts. So, I have, I spent $37.62. I had a $5 coupon. The shipping was $9.49. So, my whole total came to $42.11. And I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 books. Uh, the cheapest book was $1.74 and the most expensive was $4.99. So, okay, so here we go. Got lots of paper. And lots and lots of paper. Okay, so let's see what I got in here. The first book that I got is a little comic book. It's called Archie, Giant Comic Spotlight. And it's a really, really tiny book. And I used to read Archie when I was little. So this is the graphic novel. Let's see if it, it is colorful. So let's see, I'll open it up a little bit. It's a colorful, it is the size of a manga. So yeah, maybe a little smaller than a manga. So I got this one and this was 50-50. Uh, in the 50-50 section. So now, uh, you know, all know that I work as a lunch lady. I um, am a lunch monitor at a school. And um, we had a lunch, um, lunch thing um, on May, May the first Friday of May is uh, Appreciate Your Lunch Lady Day. So we had this really big thing. And it's all inspired by the Lunch Lady mag um, graphic novel. So they had them there. So I got the Lunch Lady. This is, I don't know if they're numbered. This is book three. So I got book three. It's really cool because the whole graphic novel is done in yellow, black, and, and white. So the whole graphic novel is that color. And it's a really cute story. It is for second and third grade. Uh, but I really, really enjoyed it. So I saw them on Book Outlet and I was like, you know what? I'm going to get mostly all of them. I think there was some missing. So this is book three. And then I got book four. And they're really cute. They're small. It only take about an hour and a half to read this maybe. So that's that one. And I got book two. And I got... Book five, there's a little number on the end. <laughs> so I think that's it. So I need to um, find book one, which I already read, and I gave it five stars, I think. So now I have two, three, four, and five. So that's what I have so far. So, and it looks like this, it has numbers on the side. Right up here is the number, two, three, four, and five. So that's that, and it's going to be nice on the bookshelf. But they didn't have book one, so I'm going to have to find book one, even though I read it already, just to add to the collection, and then my kids can read it. So this is going to go on my graphic novels uh, bookshelf. Okay, so everybody knows, if you've been watching my channel, that my favorite cartoon is um, Snoopy. And so I had to get this one. I got more peanuts. And this is in black and white, though. Excuse me, uh, black and white. And I got this funny one. I got this funny, funny one. What's so funny about getting old? <laughs> got this. And it has big long writing and some funny things. It looks like old jokes and stuff, but I thought this was cute. So I got this one. And I got. The Comic Squad Lunch. 
This is about lunch. And this one is really um, almost the same thing. And this one actually has Snoopy in it. Look at that. Cool. <laughs> I love Snoopy. So yeah, so I'm really excited. And this, all these old stories in here are based on lunch. So there's Peanuts and there's Jeffrey Brown and Cecile Bell and different ones in here. But I just saw Snoopy when I went through it. So that's pretty neat. So I got this one is about lunch. And this one, because I also work as a recess monitor, I got the recess one. So yeah. <laughs> so this one has recess. And I don't know if Snoopy's in this one, but let's see. <laughs> I'm gonna squeeze through. There's cupcakes and stuff in here. I don't see Snoopy in this one, but oh well. No Snoopy in this one, but this is really cool. So I got lunch and recess. Really neat. Really cute novel, so I'll have to read them one day. Oh, and I ordered this and I didn't know. I almost bought this in Barnes and Noble. <laughs> okay. I forgot I ordered this. I got the 12. By Justin Cronin. I'm actually listening to the first one, which is The Passage, on Audible, and I'm really enjoying it. Actually, I'm on chapter two, but chapter one was really, really good, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to get book two, so I ordered book two, and I almost bought this at Barnes & Noble yesterday, so that's how much I want to read book two. Yeah, <laughs> so that's this one. And I got a um, book about the Holocaust. This is The Summer of My German Soldier by Bet uh, Jean, and it says Puffin Modern Classics. So this is a classic book, but it's about the Holocaust. You can see the um, sign of uh, Star of David there. So, yeah. So it says, it, um, I can't really see. But it was a summer that Patty would always remember. So um, that's that. And um, remember when I was doing my bookshelf tour <laughs> and I said to you that I was missing book two? Well, Book Outlet had book two, so I got it. I got it. Sorry. <laughs> I got it. Um, I got Night World, uh, book two, The Dark Angel, The Chosen, and The Soulmate. So now I have book one, book two, and book three in the bind up so yeah so this is a big fat book but there's three books in one and this is the book that I was missing off my bookshelf so um, now I'll be able to marathon them when I have time so many books so little time <laughs> but now I have all three so that's this one and the last book I got in here is uh, another graphic novel and this one is a little bigger than uh, the other graphic novels this one is called the Itty Bitty Kitty Committee. And you know, you always see these these people on those cards about old people. Yeah, so I thought it was really cute. And I figured I would get it. So I'm going to go a little bit into the book and see what it looks like inside. Um, and there are just like cartoons. Um, and it's colorful. So I'll read this one and see if I like it or not. So this was the last one that I got as the graphic novel. And there's a little picture on the back of the, the woman there. So, yeah, this is the funny thing. So that's it that I got. And let me see if I could pick them up. Oh, oh they're heavy. Okay, here you go. So I got lots of graphic novels because that's what the sale was on. And then I found two books to add to my collection. One was a second novel and also, actually both of them. This one's a second novel. That's a second novel. And this one is a um, historical fiction. Um, I don't think it's a true story. Um, and that's it. So, yeah. I have lots of reading to do. I got to stay away from Book Outlet. They keep sending me emails. And when they send me the emails for the 50-50, I always click on it and look. And I'm like, oh, no, I want this, I want that. i got to stay away. <laughs> so anyway, <coughs> choking. Um, so thank you for watching. And I will see you in another video. Bye.